welcome to this episode. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jamie Naftali on the pediatric world. Remember, it's only here, only in this platform, whereby we talk on common illnesses affecting children while growing up. So stay tuned, subscribe to be part of this wonderful family. And again, I welcome you to this episode. So in today's episode, we are uh, doing, uh, still continuing on uh, management of the hypoglycemia, the low blood sugar levels in children, and we say the concentrations that we have, the dextrose that we use while treating hypoglycemia in children. So we left at what if you do not have the 10% dextrose? This is the best. And how about in the hospital setup, you don't have uh, the 10% dextrose. So what do you do? We say we make for yourself, we make uh, the 10% dextrose. And today we are going to see how, how you are able to do this. So this is achieved by uh, diluting. It is achieved by diluting with the water for injection. This, uh, the water for injection and... Uh, we have four parts of water for injection, so we are diluting the 50%. Remember the 50% dextrose? It is the one that we are using together with the water for injection to make the 10% dextrose, which is the safest, the most effective to treat the hypoglycemia in children. So we need water for injection, uh, uh, four parts, and also we need a part of 50% dextrose. Hope we are together there. So how you make it, it is by use of 50% dextrose and also you dilute using the water for injection. So what do you, so uh, if you are using, this will determine how to use the amount to give for water for injection and that for one, uh, for the 50% dextrose, uh, we divide according to the, the syringe, the mini meal, the meals of the syringe that you are using. So, for instance, if you are using 10 meals syringe, so the water for injection, you're going to put 8 meals. So, 8, eight meals of water for injection. And also the 50% glucose, you use 2 meals. So, you dilute 2 meals of 50% uh, dextrose with 80, 8 meals of water for injection to make it 10. So that is if you are using 10 ml syringe. How about if you are using 20 ml syringe the same way? So water for injection is going to be 16 ml. This is what you are going to dilute if you are using the 20 ml syringe. So you use 16 ml of water for injection and also 4 ml 50% dextrose. So this one uh, you are diluting again. If you are using 50 ml syringe, you use 40 ml of water for injection and also uh, you use 10 ml of 50% dextrose. Hope you are clear. This is how you make the 10% dextrose if you do not have it in the facility. And this does not mean we leave it at that. We don't treat these babies with hypoglycemia. So this is how you dilute using water for injection and the 50% dextrose. So then, what do you do? What do you do to ensure that the hypoglycemia does not reoccur? So after giving the IV bolus, the IV bolus of now 10% dextrose, what do you do to ensure that you have a glucose maintenance in the body? So you don't leave it at that. You just don't give IV uh, dextrose. So you don't leave it at that. So to prevent rebound uh, hypoglycemia or repeat hypoglycemia, so the, the blood sugar levels do not come low after treating. So what do you do? We are saying uh, we give glucose maintenance. Um, just to explain how this may happen, because the glucose levels tend to fall uh, to very low levels because when only a bolus is given, there is no continuous supply of glucose. So this is the reason why we don't want to leave it at giving the 10% dextrose. You need to give glucose maintenance. The reason is to prevent uh, the, uh, to still give the continuous supply of glucose. Um, if this does not happen, if you don't give the maintenance glucose, we are going to have issues, we are going to have problems, and we are going to have uh, uh, problems later 
at a later stage. So this maintenance supply is provided through feeding. So you can do feeding, you feed the baby if the baby is able to feed. This is one way of maintaining the glucose levels. Uh, we can also, if the child is not feeding, you feed through the NG tube. Remember the nasogastric tube, the tube we said we put to the, uh, through the nose, to the throat and down to the stomach. So we can feed using the nasogastric tube. Two, or we are saying oral feed if the child is able to feed. This way we are providing glucose. We want to ensure that this continuous uh, glucose supply. Hope this is very, very clear. And in summary, my people, because it's like we have concluded on hypoglycemia, how to treat it, everything. So in summary of this whole topic of hypoglycemia in children, what are the key points? What are the key points? So number one point is that hypoglycemia is a killer disease in under five. Most babies really will die, will just die. The mortality is so high if we don't treat the hypoglycemia. So it is a killer disease. This is a number one point to remember. Uh, another point to remember is that hypoglycemia is common in very sick uh, newborns and children. So the babies who come to the ward, especially those who are admitted or even they are very sick at home. So hypoglycemia is one thing that is going to weigh them down. So we need to look for, to measure the, the blood sugar levels. And after doing this, we are able to establish because uh, we are saying it is very, very common. So we need to be very keen and not ignore in very sick babies and children. So another point to note in summary is that signs of hypoglycemia are not completely reliable. So we need to do a random blood sugar. We call it RBS. This is to measure the sugar levels so that we monitor in all sick children. So the signs and symptoms we said are for the, those babies with low blood sugar levels, we do not leave it as fair. We don't say, we don't rely on just the signs and symptoms. We need to do a blood sugar level just to ensure that uh, they are monitored and they are within the normal levels. Um, in hospital, Treatment of hypoglycemia is using the 10% dextrose and the amount we say we use 5 mils per kg of the baby. So it is the 10% dextrose that is the safe and the effective. We said that in our previous episode, it is the best and we are giving at 5 mils per kg of the baby. Another key point to remember is that in prevention, I mean to prevent the rebound hypoglycemia, or uh, to prevent these uh, uh, low blood sugar levels to get back. So we need to, uh, to follow these are the IV. The IV bolus glucose should be followed by a maintenance therapy. And this we just said, we do not want to have, we call it rebound hypoglycemia, coming back to having low blood sugar levels, even after having given uh, the bolus, the dextrose. So we need to do the maintenance glucose, the therapy. So, and this we said is by feeding. If the baby is not able to feed orally, we do the nasogastric using the tube. So we feed that way. So my people, now we come to the end of hypoglycemia in children. This is a killer disease again. So I hope you understand. If you have any questions concerning this topic, please pin down uh, uh, your comment. Also, there's an email that I provide at the end of the video. So if you have any question, please answer. I uh, please ask uh, anything for any clarification and all that. If you haven't subscribed, kindly hit on the subscribe button so that you may become part of this wonderful family. I know we are learning. Please let me know. Comment, comment, keep subscribing and also share these videos widely so that many people can reach them and we can help many people. So in the end, we want to have healthy babies. We also want to improve their quality of life. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you, my people. Till next time.